Conversation 28, The Lodger. 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 Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme. I've come in answer to your advertisement. Oh, um, come in, Mrs. Orme. Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, if you don't mind. You've heard of me, of course. Well, I'm afraid... Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme. I've come in answer to your advertisement. Oh, um, come in, Mrs. Orme. Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, if you don't mind. You've heard of me, of course. Well, I'm afraid... Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme. I've come in answer to your advertisement. Oh, um, come in, Mrs. Orme. Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, if you don't mind. You've heard of me, of course. Well, I'm afraid... Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme. I've come in answer to your advertisement. Oh, um, come in, Mrs. Orme. Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, if you don't mind. You've heard of me, of course. Well, I'm afraid... Good afternoon. I'm Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme. I've come in answer to your advertisement. Oh, um, come in, Mrs. Orme. Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, if you don't mind. You've heard of me, of course. Well, I'm afraid... I'm the president of the Guild of Philosophical Spiritualists. I'm writing a book on philosophical spiritualism through the ages, and I must have congenial surroundings for completing it. My present rooms are full of most unpleasant thought waves. I'm the president of the Guild of Philosophical Spiritualists. I'm writing a book on philosophical spiritualism through the ages, and I must have congenial surroundings for completing it. My present rooms are full of most unpleasant thought waves. I'm the president of the Guild of Philosophical Spiritualists. I'm writing a book on philosophical spiritualism through the ages, and I must have congenial surroundings for completing it. My present rooms are full of most unpleasant thought waves. I'm the president of the Guild of Philosophical Spiritualists. I'm writing a book on philosophical spiritualism through the ages, and I must have congenial surroundings for completing it. My present rooms are full of most unpleasant thought waves. I'm the president of the Guild of Philosophical Spiritualists. I'm writing a book on philosophical spiritualism through the ages, and I must have congenial surroundings for completing it. My present rooms are full of most unpleasant thought waves. Well, uh, perhaps you'd like to come upstairs. Before I do, I hope you won't mind my asking whether yours is a happy home. Well, really. You see, I like living in a happy home. Any sign of dissension just prevents me from working. I'm very sensitive, you know. Well, uh, perhaps you'd like to come upstairs. Before I do, I hope you won't mind my asking whether yours is a happy home. Well, really. You see, I like living in a happy home. Any sign of dissension just prevents me from working. I'm very sensitive, you know. Well, uh, perhaps you'd like to come upstairs. Before I do, I hope you won't mind my asking whether yours is a happy home. Well, really. You see, I like living in a happy home. Any sign of dissension just prevents me from working. I'm very sensitive, you know. Well, uh, 
Perhaps you'd like to come upstairs. Before I do, I hope you won't mind my asking whether yours is a happy home. Well, really. You see, I like living in a happy home. Any sign of dissension just prevents me from working. I'm very sensitive, you know. Well, uh, perhaps you'd like to come upstairs. Before I do, I hope you won't mind my asking whether yours is a happy home. Well, really. You see, I like living in a happy home. Any sign of dissension just prevents me from working. I'm very sensitive, you know. I do think you ought to see the room before we go any further, Mrs. Um, Orby Inglefield. Inglesby Orm. Very well. This is it. It's quite large, but I think you'll find it very warm when the fire's lit. I do think you ought to see the room before we go any further, Mrs. Um, Orby Inglefield. Inglesby Orm. Very well. This is it. It's quite large, but I think you'll find it very warm when the fire's lit. I do think you ought to see the room before we go any further, Mrs. Um, Orby Inglefield. Inglesby Orm. Very well. This is it. It's quite large, but I think you'll find it very warm when the fire's lit. I do think you ought to see the room before we go any further, Mrs. Um, Orby Inglefield. Inglesby Orm. Very well. This is it. It's quite large, but I think you'll find it very warm when the fire's lit. I do think you ought to see the room before we go any further, Mrs. Um, Orby Inglefield. Inglesby Orm. Very well. This is it. It's quite large, but I think you'll find it very warm when the fire's lit. The wallpaper wants changing, of course. And I don't know about having that carpet in here. There doesn't seem to be much cupboard room, either. Well... But I'm sure you won't mind my using this cupboard in the hall. Of course, you'll have to turn out all those sheets and towels. Oh, well, I don't know. The wallpaper wants changing, of course. And I don't know about having that carpet in here. There doesn't seem to be much cupboard room, either. Well... But I'm sure you won't mind my using this cupboard in the hall. Of course, you'll have to turn out all those sheets and towels. Oh, well, I don't know. The wallpaper wants changing, of course. And I don't know about having that carpet in here. There doesn't seem to be much cupboard room, either. Well... But I'm sure you won't mind my using this cupboard in the hall. Of course, you'll have to turn out all those sheets and towels. Oh, well, I don't know. The wallpaper wants changing, of course. And I don't know about having that carpet in here. There doesn't seem to be much cupboard room, either. Well... But I'm sure you won't mind my using this cupboard in the hall. Of course, you'll have to turn out all those sheets and towels. Oh, well, I don't know. The wallpaper wants changing, of course. And I don't know about having that carpet in here. There doesn't seem to be much cupboard room, either. Well... But I'm sure you won't mind my using this cupboard in the hall. Of course, you'll have to turn out all those sheets and towels. Oh, well, I don't know. Do you mind if I smoke? I feel my nerves need soothing. My dear sir, I've no objection to your smoking downstairs. But please refrain from doing so on this floor. Augustus and I are very sensitive to smoke. Where is Augustus, by the way? I distinctly remember putting him on the lead and taking him with me this morning. Do you mind if I smoke? I feel my nerves need soothing. 
My dear sir, I've no objection to your smoking downstairs, but please refrain from doing so on this floor. Augustus and I are very sensitive to smoke. Where is Augustus, by the way? I distinctly remember putting him on the lead and taking him with me this morning. Do you mind if I smoke? I feel my nerves need soothing. My dear sir, I've no objection to your smoking downstairs, but please refrain from doing so on this floor. Augustus and I are very sensitive to smoke. Where is Augustus, by the way? I distinctly remember putting him on the lead and taking him with me this morning. Do you mind if I smoke? I feel my nerves need soothing. My dear sir, I've no objection to your smoking downstairs, but please refrain from doing so on this floor. Augustus and I are very sensitive to smoke. Where is Augustus, by the way? I distinctly remember putting him on the lead and taking him with me this morning. Do you mind if I smoke? I feel my nerves need soothing. My dear sir, I've no objection to your smoking downstairs, but please refrain from doing so on this floor. Augustus and I are very sensitive to smoke. Where is Augustus, by the way? I distinctly remember putting him on the lead and taking him with me this morning. You have a dog? I suppose he could sleep in the kitchen. Certainly not. Augustus hates being parted from me. Now, um, there was something else I had to remember to ask you. Oh, yes. You won't have your radio on late. It's only by working at night that I attain perfect concentration. And then, of course, the slightest sound disturbs me. You have a dog? I suppose he could sleep in the kitchen. Certainly not. Augustus hates being parted from me. Now, um, there was something else I had to remember to ask you. Oh, yes. You won't have your radio on late. It's only by working at night that I attain perfect concentration. And then, of course, the slightest sound disturbs me. You have a dog? I suppose he could sleep in the kitchen. Certainly not. Augustus hates being parted from me. Now, um, there was something else I had to remember to ask you. Oh, yes. You won't have your radio on late. It's only by working at night that I attain perfect concentration. And then, of course, the slightest sound disturbs me. You have a dog? I suppose he could sleep in the kitchen. Certainly not. Augustus hates being parted from me. Now, um, there was something else I had to remember to ask you. Oh, yes. You won't have your radio on late. It's only by working at night that I attain perfect concentration. And then, of course, the slightest sound disturbs me. You have a dog? I suppose he could sleep in the kitchen. Certainly not. Augustus hates being parted from me. Now, um, there was something else I had to remember to ask you. Oh, yes. You won't have your radio on late. It's only by working at night that I attain perfect concentration. And then, of course, the slightest sound disturbs me. You mean you'll be working rather late? I usually stop typing by two o'clock. But sometimes, of course, I find myself going on all night. Well... Mrs. Oldsby Orme. Ingoldsby Orme, if you please. Well, Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, I have to tell you that we always have the radio on late at night, 
and I insist on smoking like a chimney all over the house, upstairs and downstairs. You mean you'll be working rather late? I usually stop typing by two o'clock, but sometimes, of course, I find myself going on all night. Well, Mrs. Oldsby Orme... Ingoldsby Orme, if you please. Well, Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, I have to tell you that we always have the radio on late at night, and I insist on smoking like a chimney all over the house, upstairs and downstairs. You mean you'll be working rather late? I usually stop typing by two o'clock. But sometimes, of course, I find myself going on all night. Well, Mrs. Oldsby Orme... Ingoldsby Orme, if you please. Well, Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, I have to tell you that we always have the radio on late at night, and I insist on smoking like a chimney all over the house, upstairs and downstairs. You mean you'll be working rather late? I usually stop typing by two o'clock, but sometimes, of course, I find myself going on all night. Well, Mrs. Oldsby Orme... Ingoldsby Orme, if you please. Well, Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, I have to tell you that we always have the radio on late at night, and I insist on smoking like a chimney all over the house, upstairs and downstairs. You mean you'll be working rather late? I usually stop typing by two o'clock. But sometimes, of course, I find myself going on all night. Well, Mrs. Oldsby Orme... Ingoldsby Orme, if you please. Well, Mrs. Ingoldsby Orme, I have to tell you that we always have the radio on late at night and I insist on smoking like a chimney all over the house, upstairs and downstairs. It doesn't sound very suitable, then. I think I'd better go. Besides, it seems to me I can feel some rather unpleasant thought waves here as well. Well, goodbye. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry you didn't like the room. It doesn't sound very suitable, then. I think I'd better go. Besides, it seems to me I can feel some rather unpleasant thought waves here as well. Well, goodbye. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry you didn't like the room. It doesn't sound very suitable, then. I think I'd better go. Besides, it seems to me I can feel some rather unpleasant thought waves here as well. Well, goodbye. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry you didn't like the room. It doesn't sound very suitable, then. I think I'd better go. Besides, it seems to me I can feel some rather unpleasant thought waves here as well. Well, goodbye. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry you didn't like the room. It doesn't sound very suitable, then. I think I'd better go. Besides, it seems to me I can feel some rather unpleasant thought waves here as well. Well, goodbye. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry you didn't like the room. I think I'd better go. 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 Выбранные предложения 28 урока. В состав этих предложений входят несколько примеров с неличной формой глагола герундии и несколько примеров с глаголом mind. I like living in a happy home. 
Я люблю жить в счастливом доме. I do think you ought to see the room first. Мне кажется, что сначала вам нужно посмотреть комнату. This is it. Вот она. The wallpaper wants changing. Обои нужно сменить. I'm sure you won't mind my using this cupboard. Я уверена, что вы не будете возражать, если я буду пользоваться этим шкафом. Do you mind if I smoke? Вы ничего не имеете против, если я закурю? I have no objection to your smoking downstairs. Я не возражаю, если вы будете курить внизу. Грамматический комментарий 28 урока. Неличная форма глагола gerund. Пункт 1. В грамматическом комментарии к сценке 20 говорилось, что глагол с окончанием ing может быть неличной формой глагола, называемой герундием. В русском языке герундию часто соответствуют существительные на нее нк. Пункт второй. Герундий может быть прямым дополнением, признак характерный для существительного. На русский язык он часто переводится инфинитивом. I like living in a happy home. Я люблю жить в счастливом доме. После глагола like можно использовать как герундий, так и инфинитив. Разница в их употреблении состоит в том, что герундий употребляется в более общих предложениях, а инфинитив, когда говорим о конкретной ситуации. Госпожа Ингольдсби Орм могла бы сказать «I would like to live in a happy home». Я бы хотела жить в счастливом доме. Так как в этом предложении речь идет о конкретном доме, который госпожа Ингольдсби Орм пришла посмотреть, прочитав в газете, что Мэгги сдает комнату. После глаголов start и begin можно употребить эти две формы. Разницы в значении нет. He started to walk равно he started walking. Он начал работать. Пункт третий. Однако есть и такие глаголы, которые изменяют значение в зависимости от того, что стоит после них. Герундий или инфинитив. Например, госпожа Ингольдсби Орм говорит I usually stop typing by two o'clock. Я обычно кончаю писать на машинке к двум часам. Предложение I stop to type означало бы я задерживаюсь, чтобы писать на машинке. Еще один пример. The wallpaper wants changing. Обои нужно поменять. Предложение the wallpaper wants to change означало бы обои хотят переодеться. Смешно. Еще пример. I distinctly remember putting him on the left. Я хорошо помню, что привязала его на поводок. 
предложение remember to put him on the lead означало бы не забудь привязать его на поводок. Как видно на основе выше приведенных примеров, иногда герундий можно перевести на русский язык придаточным предложением. Пункт четвертый. После некоторых глаголов герунди имеет такое же значение, как и инфинитив в страдательном залоге. Это глаголы need и want. Например, I feel my nerves need soothing. Равно I feel my nerves need to be soothed. Чувствую, что моим нервам нужно успокоиться. Еще один пример. The wallpaper wants changing. Равно The wallpaper needs to be changed. Обои нужно поменять. Пункт пятый. Герунди может иметь перед собой предлог, то есть быть предложным дополнением. It's only by working at night that I attain perfect concentration. Только работая по ночам, я достигаю полной сосредоточенности. Any sign of dissension just prevents me from working. Какой-либо знак несогласия мешает мне в работе. I've no objection to your smoking downstairs, but please refrain from doing so on this floor. Я не возражаю, чтобы вы курили внизу, но прошу вас воздержитесь от курения на этом этаже. Пункт шестой. Глагольные признаки герундия наиболее ярко выражаются в его способности выражать формы залога. То есть герундий может употребляться в страдательном залоге. Augustus hates being parted from me. Август не любит, чтобы нас разлучали. Глагол mind в сценке 28 встречается несколько идиоматических выражений с глаголом mind. Несколько предложений с этими выражениями. Пункт А. I hope you won't mind my asking whether yours is a happy home. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я спрошу, счастливый ли ваш дом. Если после глагола mind поставить только герундий, то значение изменится. Would you mind closing the window? Будьте любезны, закройте, пожалуйста, окно. Б. Еще одно идиоматическое выражение с глаголом mind. Джим, come in, Mrs. Orm. Mrs. Orm. Mrs. Ingoldsby Orm, if you don't mind. Госпожа Ингольдсби Орм, если вы не возражаете. С. В конце сценки Мэгги говорит Never mind, Jim. The next one may be better. Мэгги, ничего, Джим. Следующий квартирант, может быть, будет лучше. Выражение never mind означает ничего. Может иметь значение неважно, не беда, 
не беспокойтесь. Упражнение 28 урока. Упражнение первое. Запомните пропуски, как это показано в первом предложении. Первое предложение. I like traveling. Я люблю путешествовать. I would like to travel all over Europe. Я хотел бы путешествовать по всей Европе. Второе. Мэгги likes listening to the radio. Мэгги любит слушать радио. She would like to listen to a good concert tonight. Она хотела бы послушать хороший концерт. Третье. Джим likes playing chess. Джим любит играть в шахматы. He would like to play a game of chess with Mr. Dixon today. Сегодня он хотел бы сыграть партию в шахматы с мистером Диксоном. Четвертое. Джейн likes acting. Джейн любит играть. She would like to act the part of Lizzie in Pitmalion. Она хотела бы сыграть роль Элизы в Пидмалионе. Пятое. Роберт likes driving. Роберт любит водить. He would like to drive a powerful sports car. Он хотел бы водить мощный спортивный автомобиль. Шестое. The headmaster likes cooking. Директор любит готовить. He would like to cook a really good supper tonight. Он хотел бы приготовить сегодня действительно хороший ужин. Второе упражнение. Заполните пропуски в следующих предложениях. Первое предложение. Before going out, remember to bolt the windows and turn off the gas. Перед выходом не забудьте запереть окна и выключить газ. Второе. Where are my keys? I remember putting them in my pocket this morning. Где мои ключи? Я помню, как утром положил их в карман. Третье. This is a very old film. I remember seeing it before the war. Это очень старый фильм. Я помню, что видел его перед войной. Четвертое. We must remember to get the tickets in advance. Мы должны помнить, чтобы получить билеты заранее. Пятое. Did you remember to take your medicine this morning? Ты не забыл принять лекарство сегодня утром? Шестое. I distinctly remember telling Harry to dig up this roots. Я отчетливо помню, как велел Гарри выкопать эти корни. Упражнение третье. Измените следующее предложение по образцу первого. Первое предложение. May I use this cupboard? Могу я воспользоваться этим шкафом? I hope you won't mind. My using this cupboard. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я воспользуюсь этим шкафом. Второе. May I smoke here? Можно здесь покурить? I hope you won't mind my smoking here. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я закурю здесь. 
Did you? May I change this wallpaper? Могу я изменить эти обои? I hope you won't mind my changing this wallpaper. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я поменяю обои. Четвертое. May I remove this carpet? Могу я убрать этот ковер? I hope you won't mind my removing this carpet. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я уберу этот ковер. May I type at night? Пятое. Могу я печатать ночью? I hope you won't mind my typing at night. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я буду печатать по ночам. Шестое. May I have the radio on? Можно включить радио? I hope you won't mind my having the radio on. Надеюсь, вы не будете возражать, если я включу радио.